<laughs> yes, we can. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Mike Lyon. And I'm Jen Barkin. And Jen Barkin wants to talk about how freaking awesome her office is. Look at yeah. her new paint color. Everybody, everybody, if you like this paint color from Jen, you need to give her smash the heart button or the, the smiley face because she needs that. Paint what? and yeah. um, paint and shelves. And I even have a unicorn back there. Can you see that? You got to go like this. You got to point. For the there you go look at that we got it that's See a it? great unicorn well welcome this is episode number forty no six uh, hmm. four two six <laughs> we don't know uh, we're excited to have you on this episode we always love it when you interact so leave your comments uh, leave your likes say hello it's uh, oh look at that Lindsay Pete coming in hot love hey, it Lindsay. Jen yeah she make sure it. make sure you guys say hi so we actually know you're here and watching. Yeah, that's always, this is it. This is where we, this is how we make our friends on Facebook Live. <laughs> These are the only friends that we have. So what are we talking about today? We want to talk about aha moments from the Online Sales and Marketing Summit. Holy cow, uh -huh. we have a great show in Dallas, Texas at the W Victory Hotel. It was swinging. Okay. There were a lot of things happening. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's the best conference we've had this year. <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. I it mean, was, it was great. And a lot of things are takeaways. Like I had no ideas. We did 80s night for the cocktail reception. I did not know people were going to dress up as well as they did. Did you, Jen? No, it was, it was a little risky, little risky move having, you know, a theme because it, it kind of puts some pressure on people like, oh my gosh, I got to actually like think about what I'm going to wear, going to do something. And, and going into day one, when we said, hey, who's who's coming tonight and who's dressing up? Not a lot of hands went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we were like, oh, you know, wasn't sure how it was going to be. But man, you guys went all out. It yes, was they did. There was big amazing. hair. There were neon colors everywhere. Yes, the Mungo team who's watching from the Seattle airport. You guys get around. Let me just tell you. They dressed up. And they were shaming my costume, which wow. or, or my mean, dress up, but my, whatever. We're just going to move on. Let's talk about other great things. Let's talk about other great things. What else happened? Chris Hartley from Dunhill, um, Homes, who's not on Facebook, so he may not even hear this unless he logs in. But he went all Oprah and gave uh, the Do You Convert team custom Billy Do You Convert bikes. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It was pretty cool. And Jen, your I husband's felt, already trying to I steal like your bike, a, right? Yeah, I felt like a, a celebrity. It was like, you know, like we walk out and these freaking bikes in our do you convert colors, our logo. Yeah. It was awesome. So Chris, if you happen to see this again, thank you so much. Yeah, my husband, I, I sent him a picture while we were there and he was like, is that for me? And I'm like, uh, no. And yeah. Um, yeah, so we just got it. He put it together and he's like, man, I'm going to take this for a spin. And I was like, no, I'm taking it for a spin first. But off my seat. That's yeah. what you say. So, uh, all right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. So for those of you who didn't have a chance to attend, and for those of you that did, here's what we want to hear. For those of you who are on watching that did, um, even if you're tuning in later, that's great. Post in the comments, what were some of your like aha moments from the Online Sales and Marketing Summit? We always love to hear um, what you took away. But for us, there were some takeaways that we had. So, Jen, let's start with you. What yeah. was an aha moment for you seeing? And we had in our section when we split off from online marketing to mm -hmm. online sales, we've got kind of two different tracks. We had probably, what, 90 plus in online sales? Yes. Yes. So was... good, good crowd of online sales specialists mm -hmm. there. What was your aha moment, the first thing that you took away? Yeah. So, you know, this position has been around for, you know, a while now, Mike, how many, how many years would you say the the online sales role has been? Yeah. Officially, I mean, it's going to be close to 15 years, right around that. Right. So a huge aha for me was as, as I was talking about, you know, connecting with your sales team, there is still a huge gap in, you know, making that connection. A lot of people, you know, I look out and there's a lot of head shaking, like, Yes, you know, feel my pain. I'm still having a hard time getting my salespeople on board using CRM. You know, I feel like I'm on an island. I'm in a silo. And even though we've been talking about this position now for a while, and 
a lot of builders have adopted it, there's still that gap there. And so, you know, as we were talking about this, the other thing I was thinking is, you know, this goes, this is a two way street. You know, we can sit back and we can say, you know, our salespeople aren't doing what they're supposed to, but you have got to be proactive and getting them on board. You can't just sit back and, you know, complain, right? right. And say this isn't working. And Mike, you talked a lot about this, about the online salesperson being an influencer, mm -hmm. being a cheerleader, being that person that actually comes up alongside their on-site sales exec and works with them you know right. we you know we talk about the online salesperson being an extension of the on-site sales team and so that was kind of a hey we still got some work to do we still got to work on bridging that gap and getting everybody on board and yeah i think i think you know even just hearing that and you talking about the handoff process and even yeah. changing the language a little bit to it's not just handoff and i'm done it's right. like the handoff happens and the salesperson has to really start preparing for yeah. that next step, not right. walking in, uh, you know, to an appointment without reviewing anything. And so that was a big thing for everybody to go, oh, yeah, I, maybe there's more to it than just an right. introduction and say, hey, I'm the salesperson. I'll see you soon. Right. Researching notes, all those things. So that was that was a really good one um, for me, kind of on that same note, the a, a big aha I, every year it takes the conference to do this, to remind me that there are still a lot of builders out there that are just getting their hands around how to create okay. leads, how to convert those leads, all those things. And um, we had over half the attendees were first timers, which was awesome. That's, yeah, it was really yeah, cool. good, good stuff, but yeah, a lot of first time questions. And that's not to knock the question, just like, wow, I forget, you know, you think you've been in it for so long, doing this for so long they've got it dialed down. I mean, questions on how, uh, what does follow-up look like? Right. What should you be doing on the phone? What are we doing with appointments? Wait, how are we scheduling this? What do you call an appointment? So the good news is for anybody who's out there listening and has an established program, we're ahead of the curve of, of a lot of your competition. Just because you're doing it well, doesn't mean everybody else is. The, the, mm -hmm. the encouragement I want to give to everybody is time to up your game. This market is shifting. This market is changing. This market as one CEO put it, business conditions are softening, right? <laughs> and he's like, we've got to be prepared for this. So, you know, it's our opportunity, especially from online sales side to up our game. So for those of you tuning in, I want to hear aha moments from you. Let, let us hear what you um, had, feedback you had and stuff like that. Jen, what's your next aha moment besides being a cheerleader, which we may or may not be able to dig up a picture of you as a cheerleader <laughs> from the 80s there is, in 1989. There is it, yeah, there is one circulating around. It may make an appearance on here at some point from 1989, Brandon Junior High. If anybody is watching that went to Brandon Junior High, shout out Virginia Beach. <laughs> that Coach is a Chargers. very that's a very narrow. Hey, you never know. Audience. You never know. You never know. All right, what's your um, okay? Aha the moment? other thing that was an aha moment for me is that you know this is a hard freaking job mm. of being an online salesperson, you know, and I had several people come up to me that were like, you know, I'm hanging on a thread. I'm, I'm just trying to, to get things done. You know, I'm being reactive. I don't have time to really be proactive. I mean, and you know, Barb Debrito, if you're watching, I love Barb. You know, she was like, you know, I'm, I want to hear your session on prospecting because, you know, I've been doing this forever, finally hired a second person. And now I have time to really do some prospecting. So yeah. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that, look, we feel you. We know Mike and I both, you know, we've been there. We know how hard it is, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, you've got to take control of this role. That was evident. You know, you've got to take control. You have got to be the cheerleader. You've got to be the influencer. You've got to think of this as your business. And yeah, it's hard. It's hard work. It's not an entry level position. Right. You know, a lot of, you know, hey, yeah, I'm going to be an online salesperson and then make my way up to an on site salesperson. Guys, being an online salesperson, this is a career. Right. And, you know, that's evident each year preach, that we do. Preach it, Jen. Woo, woo. 
I'm just saying, I'm passionate about this is a big deal. Right. And so um, getting people own your stuff, man, that's been the theme of like every blog I've written this year. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, own your stuff, like be boss ladies, you know, do your thing and, and boss men. I don't want to leave out my, my guys, but um, you know, yeah. So I think, I think going back to the, the challenge of this role, three things that stick out to me. Mm -hmm. I always like to go to three things, you know, because that makes it easier to remember. Number one, re all, always on is where's you out, right? right. Mentally, you, so you got to put really good boundaries and protection. Always on is hard. Number two, online sales interacts with more people than just about anybody in your company on a yes. daily basis. A sales rep on site may interact with three to four people in, in a given day. Online sales act, interacts with 34 people in a given day. And because of that, you're kind of absorbing that energy, whether it's positive or negative energy, you have to yes. be up and on and at a heightened level all the time. Ooh, that's a lot, right? So so those are those are two of the three things. And, and the third thing is really looking at this position and saying there's a tremendous weight and responsibility in driving real traffic yeah. to your people who sell homes, right? This is huge. So because mm -hmm. there's so much on that front, end, you can't have an off day. You can't. No. You can, people joke around like, well, uh, vacations. We're like, what vacations? What are you talking about? Right. So this is an awesome, awesome profession. And the good thing is you see it. The prominence of this role continues to move up and up and up. And that kind of leads me to my aha moment. We pulled a leadership session together for the first time ever, 2018 Woo! in Dallas, Texas. We set it for 30. We had people sitting along the rows of the wall because they really yeah. want to understand how to lead, coach, hire, train the online sales specialist position. And so the realities of it is a lot of them with great intentions are still very disconnected from the role. They have no yeah. clue what it is to follow up, what their expectations are, how the systems work, what is a call tracking, what's call rail, what's, how do I do this in lasso? And so there's a huge need for that, but that's good. So I loved, I loved seeing that and hearing the great questions great from the leaders. Feedback. Yeah, great, great it, feedback from that. That was that was a fun new session that we did for our leaders who are managing or coaching online sales specialists. And the final bonus I want to give to you guys, which will come out with another webinar, Facebook Live, something, our survey, uh, our national builder survey that we do, where we yeah. go online and fill out the lead response forms. Um, mm -hmm. It came back in. I'm going to give you the bullet points version. Not much has changed, right? Um, there's a couple of metrics that did improve. The number of people both calling an email went from went up from three percent to six percent. So that's that's a huge gains. Hey, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take we'll it. Take but it. the other thing we did with this, which is interesting for this session here, is we actually volunteered up. Hey, text us, please call yeah. or text me. And only six percent texted sent any kind of tech we were offering them telling them to text us and only six percent actually did text mm -hmm. us so what's crazy about the shop is again going back to we did we conducted this two months ago this is when every builder that we knew worked with talked mm -hmm. with was going what's happening yes. what's going on with the market leads. where are my leads right yeah. That's when we shopped them. So they should have been the best version of themselves. Yes. And this comes from the top 200 and we still saw results that were lackluster for our industry. So bad news is not great results. Good news is if you're tuning in and you care about your role and your position, you're going to kill it, right? You're going to, that's your opportunity yeah. for this next year. So we, we saw people who were excited, motivated, great energy, inspirational, mm -hmm happy to network with each other. Those are our people. We love it. And so what I, we want you guys to be in that same tribe. So definitely be sure uh, to stay tuned to things like this, Facebook yes. live, interact, leave your comments, say hello, let us know, let everybody else know that you're going, because if you're going to be an influencer and you've been doing this for a while, it's an influencer in the industry as yes. a whole too. So that's a big one. Yes, absolutely. Jen, Jen, do you want to give them some special news just for those people still hanging on and watching this end part? Where where are we having the online sales and marketing conference next year? Ooh. Drum roll. Chi Town, Chicago. Yes. Chicago. We are going to Chicago. Which is, let me just tell you, we went to this hotel. We had our online sales academy there this past March. 
Yeah. Uh, London House in Chicago. It's an amazing place, an amazing location, right on the river. It is beautiful. So yes. you definitely want to stay tuned for more details. Yes. If you're excited okay. about Chicago, let us know. Also tell yes. us where the your best pizza in Chicago is. We always like to see that. So stay tuned for more details. A lot of good stuff coming. Um, again, yes. we want you to make sure um, that you always engage with us. Let us know what you need, what you like, what you don't, how we can help. We're here for you. As Kevin uh, so brilliantly says, we're here to help you, not sell you. Anything that we can do at Do You Convert, we're always happy to do that. Head over to the website, doyouconvert.com. Sign up for our email newsletters. You'll get all the good stuff coming and keep tuning in. This sounds like a commercial. This is great. Keep tuning keep in. Tuning in. Really live. At what, 12 o'clock, we're doing commercial free for, uh, anyway. Moving yeah, and, and leave comments about, like Mike was saying, leave comments on here about, you know, is there anything that you need help with? Like, what do you want to see? Like, is there certain content that you are interested in learning more about? You know, yeah. let us know. Let us yep. know for sure. We want to, we want to hear from you. Absolutely. Aaron's hey, giving Aaron. some props for the mug. I'll that see what mug, I can do. Mug is a hot commodity, my friends. It's a hot commodity. How so. many appointments did you set this month? <laughs> <laughs> you coffee's for closer. You get a mug. You get a mug. We all get mugs. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. We will see you very soon. See you, Jen.